Hi, I'm Alex Bizu with quick tips on how to write a property essay on Washington State Bar Exam. How to write a good and passing essay, uh, I will tell you in this uh, short video. Property is the largest area, just like torts, but even, even, um, even larger. Uh, therefore, for my um, preparation for, for the bar exam, I divided it into sub areas. I will name them for you right now, and I will give you a suggestion on how many essays uh, you have to do um, uh, in each uh, of these areas. They tend to test easements, creation, termination, uh, uh, adverse possession. Uh, boundary disputes and sometimes covenants blended together uh, in one essay. Do two to three essays on uh, easements, conveyances, uh, a life estate with executory interest or um, uh, possibility of reverter or right of entry. Uh, do uh, two essays on that, two to three essays. Also, profit license uh, you have to do in easements. Uh, and they like to trick you by giving uh, you um, a situation when uh, a, a grantor uh, reserved a right to fish in a deed. That will be an easement, in my opinion, uh, not a profit or not a license, you know. Um, next, uh, do uh, two, three essays on covenants. Covenants are normally tested, are normally tested either with easements or with zoning and government restraints, uh, so creation of covenants by plot, zoning, and termination on, of covenants. It can be by violation by other owners or, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, merger. Uh, joint tenancies, a rule, a rule again perpetu uh, against perpetuities uh, are also tested when you have a conveyance, when you have a future interest, always address that. A judicial review uh, is tested sometimes uh, with admin law and government restraints, zoning or subdivision plots. Uh, do up to five essays on that and you will also do uh, admin law essays when you do them uh, as well. Surf is a mnemonic for that. You surf to the court, remember, uh, with uh, standing, exhaustion, ripeness, uh, mootness and finality requirements satisfied. On adverse possession, you have to do two essays and the uh, mnemonic chinos there, continuous, notorious, exclusive, open for statutory period. Uh, deeds uh, will be tested um, for sure if there is a conveyance and they can blend that essay with a uh, realty contract, real estate contract, you know, there are requirements. These are all in my outline. Um, so statutory warranty deed, quit claim deed, uh, know, know uh, what, um, uh, uh, what they transfer there, you know, statutory warranty deed only transfer um, whatever rights the grantor has. And there can be a half essay or even a full essay, very rarely, but it happens on mortgages or, and other uh, real estate uh, securities uh, instruments, installments and deeds of trust. Lastly, landlord tenant law may be tested on the full essay or sometimes uh, you know, I saw it tested with um, community property and, and property essay can have a community property section as well. But, you know, uh, Harry and Wanda rented uh, somebody a, an apartment and after that, uh, you know, bad stuff occurred to the tenant or, or the tenant did something wrong. So um, you have to know Washington Real Estate, uh, uh, Residential Landlord Tenant Act. Um, uh, you have to know deposits. Uh, subleases, fixtures, uh, uh, law, uh, tenant duties, uh, landlord duties, termination of a lease by breach, uh, by uh, eviction, constructive eviction, or unlawful detainer eviction, forcible entry, bailments, liens. That's what you need to know for landlord tenant law. On my bar exam, uh, there was a full essay, the third essay on landlord tenant law. So I advise you to do total of 15 to 25 essays on property. I did 18 essays on property. That was enough on, in my study course. I wish you the best of luck on your bar exam and uh, be successful in everything you do. Have fun when you study. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.